Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Um, this is this this video. I feel like this this is going to be. What am I trying to say? This is going to be a very special video to me because this is a journey that I wanted to start on this channel. Uh, you can already tell what I'm going to be talking about, but this is a journey that I wanted to start on this channel, and. I did. I tried to start it, but then I saw that the views were not... I was not quite happy with what the views were looking like for these particular types of videos. So I stopped. I literally did it once and I looked at the views and I looked at the views again recently for the very same video and I was not happy. So then I sat and I thought to myself, but nah, man, I really enjoy reading. If you haven't guessed, that's what we're going to be talking about. And I'm going to be showing you my TBR books, like in terms of books that I'm going to read, some of which I've had, I've started, and one of which is a reread. But before I get into those books, which I have here, some I have here, some I am waiting on in terms of waiting on exclusive books to get them. So I'll probably pick them up next week. Um, what I wanted to talk about is what happened to my love of reading. Um, for me, yeah, I used to be a really avid reader, big time. I used to read so many books. Around varsity days, I could get away with reading maybe any anywhere between. It's not many in some people's terms, but around varsity, I would get anywhere between 15 and 20 books read in a year. And for me, that was an achievement on top of the fact that I already had curriculum varsity stuff to read, like journals and things like that. So then I started working. And when I started working, man, the amount of books that I would read in a year would really dwindle and other things started popping up, like, you know, TV, movies, you know, other things that could keep me entertained. And reading just fell to the wayside and I feel like that killed me. That killed my vocab, that killed my imagination because every time I would read, I would be like taken away, like I would be taken back into this world where, oh my God, you know, I'm just transported into another world through my love for reading. And reading is a thing that my sister and I both used to do a lot and my our mother we would read with her um we were just a house of readers apart from my dad so over the years i stopped and i really really felt bad because i would watch videos on youtube like booktubers and them recommending books that they would love to read or that they are reading or that they have read and um, I would feel so bad that I would go out and buy some of those books, but then read them and, 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 and like a quarter way through just stop. Meh, this is a very touchy subject for me because I really, 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 really love to read. So during lockdown, I gave myself a little task. And so I want to show you the book that I tossed myself to read and I told myself that during lockdown if even if I can read one book that's fine and I tossed myself to read this book this is a question of power by Bessie Head this book was written in 1973 oh I've got a bookmarker I tossed myself to read just this book even during the lockdown period I thought to myself even if you can just read one book it's fine but just try get through it even if it takes you a month to read it try get through it for me a book the size as you can see typically i could read in a couple of days even if i read like 100 pages on this day 100 you know let's give it a week i could read this book and finish it back in the day but now i was really really bad at it so i tossed myself to read this book and i did and i finished it and i read it really slowly but i finished it and it's such a great book um, just in case you might be interested in picking it up, it is very dark material. Um, for me, the types of genres that I like, I definitely like fiction, definitely. But I, even in the fiction, I'm typically drawn to... So I would read the Paolo Coelho's, the Chimamandas, the Toni Morrison's, the... Uh, da, 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 da. 
I can't think. And then on the other side, this other side of me would read your Hanya Yanagihara, Like a Little Life, Lolita by uh, Vladimir Nabokov. I, I don't know. Uh, the Bell Jar by Sylvia Plath. These are very dark, heavy, heavy books, but I would love them anyway. And um, so I told myself that by December, I want to have read at least 10 books so me and a couple of friends are doing like a little us kind of book club i didn't want to announce it on my social media and what have you because i want it to be small and intimate and what have you but i will tell you um what books i am reading at what time if maybe for instance you are also looking for a book and you want to follow on um but for now we're keeping it really intimate amongst our group of friends so i tossed myself i told myself that even outside of the books that i'm going to read with my friends for the book club we are i need to read 10 more books before the the 31st of december <laughs> so i've picked up some books um one is going to be a reread um, and others I'm waiting for and I wanted to share with you now my TBR list for the books that I'm going to delve into and they're all here I have got four here four one of which I've already started one which is a reread and then uh, there are two on the way that I'm gonna pick up next week and those are the books that I'm going to talk to you guys about right now Right. The first one is definitely a reread. This is Chimamanda Ngozi Adichie's Half of a Yellow Sun. This is one of my favorite books, if not my number one. Ooh, it's, it's kind of tough. It's kind of tough between The Alchemist and this one. But really, I don't want to get into it if you haven't read it. And besides, I haven't read it in like six seven years and i really really want to reread it again even though i know bits and pieces of what happens in the novel but there's lots of stuff that obviously i haven't um i don't remember anymore that's one of the reasons why i want to reread this book however it is such a well written book it paces itself quite well there's no place where it stagnates or what have you it's just one really literally one of the best books that i have read ever ever and um if you're a fan of chimamanda definitely definitely highly recommend that you read this book and then the next book is uh a book that i'm i'm not quite sure how this one is gonna go down because this book has a lot of um mixed reviews um this is sally rooney's normal people uh they <laughs> There are people who think that it's terrible, that have rated it like a 2 out of 5, a 1 out of 5. And then there are people who think that it's great. So it basically follows the life of this these two people this socially socially the socially awkward um girl quite reserved and shy and then this young man who's quite popular and you know blah 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 and they're in the same school you know everybody knows him he's so popular blah 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 and they develop a little bit of a friendship then relationship uh, but this guy chooses to keep it a secret so definitely one of the lighter reads Definitely one of the lighter reads that I'll be reading in this TBR. I felt like I needed to place them quite nicely, have a couple of light reads, which, light reads, definitely light reads, um, and then have the heavier, darker material that I really, really love. So this is another lighter manana read. The and book that I have started is this one. And... And I started this book yesterday. And I spent five hours reading it, and I'm already halfway through the book. And wow, it's called The Silent Patient by Alex Michalides. I think it's Greek. Michalides. And it's basically the story of the opening act. Okay, it's not a play, it's a, it's a book. But the opening of this book is already like bam, bam, like whoa, 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 what? We're already in the thick of it. It follows the story of this woman, Alicia, who is an artist and gets convicted for murdering her husband. She shoots her husband 
and but the, the catch of it is the moment she shoots her husband the moment that the crime is reported and they find her in the house with her husband she says nothing from there on out so there is court proceedings there's everything everything there's all of that stuff and she keeps mum she says literally nothing doesn't utter a word and you're sitting here as the reader thinking what the hell what's going on why wouldn't she say anything in in court nothing so we read this book narrated by the new um psychotherapist that is there and wants to help this woman out wants to help alicia wants to have her talk wants to heal her once believes that you know there's there's something more behind this and wow it's already got i'm halfway through the book and there were already two twists that had me like what are you kidding me it's really not a big book it has 300 341 pages so it really isn't a big book well to avid readers it isn't a big book but to somebody who doesn't read it might be but it really isn't a big book you can finish it if i read today for the rest of this afternoon i probably would finish this book but i probably might might not because i've got company also another dark heavy book is this one this is by kate elizabeth russell and this is my dark vanessa Stephen King, I think we all know who Stephen King is. Stephen King already said it's a package of dynamite. I haven't read this. However, I did read the blurb and I did um, just read up on what it's about and all of that. And it basically, the triggers definitely of pedophilia, of uh, somewhat a little bit of mental health issues. Um, yeah. It just follows the story of Vanessa, who had a little bit of an um, abnormal relationship with um, a teacher of hers who groomed her and all of that. So, yeah, I'm not going to get into it too much, but definitely, again, another harder, more tougher kind of read. Um, definitely would suggest if you're not... If you're triggered by all of those, then don't, don't, don't read it. Definitely don't read it. And then um, another book which I'm going to put here is On Its Way. This is Homegoing by Ya... Ya... Kayasi? Oof, I'm so sorry if I butcher the... But I'll write, I'll write it down. Um, a Nigerian author. And can't wait to have that one as well. I've heard that it's a great book. The only, that's pretty much the reason, one of the reasons why I picked it up. And I really, really, really love um, African authors. Pan-African literature is my jam. I love Pan-African literature. Um, so, yeah, yeah. Definitely looking forward to reading Homegoing. Going to pick it up next week. Um, another one is this one. This is, again, also by Sally Rooney, uh, Conversation with Friends. Apparently, this one is much better than this one, Normal People. Um, but definitely want to try it out. I've heard good reviews about that one. And then the last one is Something Darker. Again, this is uh, Pretty Girls by slaughter karen karen slaughter two books by karen slaughter that i want to read uh also thrillers also very dark heavy triggering material um uh, pretty girls yeah it's got it's got deep stuff i can't wait to read that one and that's pretty much it so that's what i'm going to read on the side like that's my personal reading that i would love to do within the next couple of months really Ideally, I'd love to read these books within the next three months. Ideally. But maybe four. Because I need to consider that I'll be reading other books from the book club. So, yeah. If you are a reader, I'll definitely come back and review uh, my favorite ones. <laughs> okay, I'll definitely come back and review the ones that I've spoken about here. Um, uh, yeah, it might be a while before I come back and do that video. But if you have read any of these, what did you think of them? Please don't spoil. No spoilers. Just let me know. You know, if you've read them, what did you think of them? Uh, would you, what else would you recommend if you're a reader? That's pretty much it from me. Let me know if you're a reader, what you are reading at the moment. Have you read any of these books? What did you think of them uh, without any spoilers? And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.